Hi there, Jennifer Roberts here with a tutorial for Plane Maker. This video was recorded using version 1150R3. In this video, we're going to cover the basics of modifying a 2D panel in Plane Maker. Working with 2D instruments requires Plane Maker, image editing software such as Photoshop, which is what I will be using, and explain to view and test your instruments. We will not be covering 3D cockpits or instruments in this video, as they are quite a bit more complicated and require 3D rendering software such as Blender. We will be modifying the default Cirrus Jet for this demo. First, we have to turn off showing the 3D panel in the 2D view so that we can actually see our new 2D panel. Now let's go into the panel editor. Toggling between 2D and 3D modes here, we can see that the 2D panel is totally blank, and this is where we'll be working. So let's put a couple basic instruments on the panel here, an airspeed and an altitude indicator. We'll save the file, then go to X-Plane and use the Reload Current Aircraft and Art option to see our changes. Change the view to the 2D panel, and now we can see our changes. Now if we take off, we can see the airspeed indicator moving because it's a pre-made instrument and it knows what to do based on X-Plane's flight model. Let's go back to Plane Maker and modify how these instruments look. Select an instrument, then press Ctrl plus P on your keyboard. This will save the instrument images on disk for us in the exact right folder hierarchy in our aircraft. Now we can open these two ping files in Photoshop to make our changes. Let's customize some colors, then save our files. To see our changes in Plane Maker, we need to use the Ping Reload button here or the keyboard shortcut T. Note that in Plane Maker, the moving parts from our ping files aren't shown. You have to reload the aircraft and art in X Plane to see the changes to the moving parts. Now let's change the panel background itself. Panels live in a Panels folder in the Cockpit folder. You can see this already exists for the 3D cockpit that was made by our artist and comes with the sim by default. But we need to create one in our 2D cockpit folder. Now open a new document in your image editing software and create a new panel that's 1024 by 1024 pixels. We'll color it, then cut out the top for where you could see out the window. Save this as panel.png. Reload pings in Plane Maker to see our changes again, and then reload the aircraft in Art in X Plane to confirm the change there as well. So these are the basics of customizing a 2D panel in Plane Maker. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to use generic instruments that come with X Plane to create instruments that require custom art or custom data refs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.